Hello and welcome to another uh, pick microcontroller lesson. This is lesson number seven in our series uh, for microchip uh, pick microcontroller construction and programming. Today we will be looking at some LCD screens, some dot matrix uh, LCD screens. What we're going to be looking at um, in general, we're going to be looking at a 16 character by two uh, LCD screen. So we're going to be looking at. Um, just to get started, the specific one that we're going to be looking at today is going to be the one by the Lumex Corporation. It's going to be the LCM-X01602DXX-A. And basically what this is, um, very straightforward, it's just like I said, it's got 16 characters long by two rows of each. So you have two lines, basically two lines that are 16 characters long. And this is the data sheet for it, uh, if you want to look at it. And it gives you all the dimensions even of uh, each, basically, dot in each little matrix, character matrix. Um, it's got you, you know, all your dimensions of it and everything. And basically it comes mounted on a circuit board that has some, basically, pins on it. And what I did, uh, if you, those of you that use mother, or not motherboards, <laughs> excuse me, um, use uh, breadboards. Um, basically, I just took some wire, just some small, um, I don't know, like 14 gauge wire, and maybe 16 or 18 gauge, you know, just something real small that'll fit in the little drills here. And uh, what I did was taken just soldered some wire into these. Is what I did to, so that I could poke those into a breadboard and you know make it work. Uh, but basically, it comes just like this. Um, we move on to the next page. We're going to get the pinouts for what we got going on. You've got your VSS and your VDD, and then you also have this VO. And what that's for is that's for the contrast of it, how dark you know the characters are, and or how light they are. And you can control the contrast with a potentiometer or variable resistor. Over here is kind of like your little drawing for that. It shows that you put a potentiometer that uh, between your VDD and VSS, and then your VO is that varied, you know, that variable voltage that comes out of the potentiometer, and that feeds in. It's your varied output that comes in for that. And see, it even says for LCD drive, and it says in here. Uh, I have to look around for it. Uh, it tells you what V sub R should be a t basically a 20k ohm will work just great for you uh, that's that's what I use I, I think it's anywhere from I think 10 to 20k uh, something like that uh, I'm trying to see if I don't see it ah th oh it's right in front of me right here 10 to 20k sorry it's I'm actually doing this this lesson at night so um, not with it just yet, but it, anyway, here it is, 10 to 20k. So you can do 10 to 20k. That's what you can do for your for your uh, VR, your potentiometer. And you set that into right now. Another thing is if you if you want to be able to see this like with the lights off, you're gonna want to hook up the backlight, and that's right here. This pin 15 and 16. There's the anode and the cathode, basically the positive and the negative, uh, for the LED backlight. And now you want to make sure, and just like any LED, you want to put like a, a shunt resistor in there, so that way not to pull too much, too much current. And if you look down here in the in the data sheet, it's around the current, the IT, the or IF, the forward current for the LED is around 160 milliamps. So you want to use whatever type of voltage you're going to use, whether it's going to be the 5 volt supply or 12 volt supply or 24 or whatever. You want to size a resistor appropriately so that way you only get 160 or maybe a little less, 160 milliamps of current, you know, so that way, um, or I mean, just a hair, you know, hair less or hair more than that. You know, you don't want to get, you know, crazy with it. So you want to size it for 160 milliamps. That way you'll get a nice bright. Uh, backlit screen, and um, I believe the the lighting is I think it's green is the color of the backlight in in this specific one. But that's basically what you need to know. So let's go ahead and see how this is hooked up. Let's go to our go to our schematic here. So we're still using our uh, 16F6. I'm using an 887 chip. Um, I forgot to change the number here, but um, 876 is analogous. It's the same thing. 
So, but I, I'm actually in testing. I've used the 886, just just so you know. So anyway, um, we've basically got in our in our deal here. We've got our voltage regulator, and our 7805 voltage regulator, and our two noise suppression capacitors. We've also got our 10k ohm resistor tied to a high for our mem clear, power and ground. And then over here is where it starts getting interesting. And where you get these pinouts and how where to connect these up and how to do this, it's actually port specific. I'm only connected to port B, and I'll show you that in the next video on the coding of it. Um, CCS Systems gives you a pre-built uh, uh, C source for LCDs that you just include in your product. It has all the pre-built functions and everything, and it actually tells you um, how to hook or what pins should be hooked up so that that way the the software works properly. And so that works. It's this this is all defined. All these pins are defined. It tells you where to connect. Um, your your write and your enable and all of your different communication pins and everything for your LCD. It's really slick. Another reason why I like the CCSC compiler. But see, here's that potentiometer. Again, we've got um, we've got it connected. We've got it connected to ground, and we've got our basically pin three going to the CONTR contrast you know pin, and then you've got your VCC and your ground. So there's ground and then there's your voltage in there. And then we're powering up the the pot and then pulling the contrast pin in. So that way you can twist you can twist the the potentiometer and you can darken or lighten the screen however you want. Over here pins 15 and 16. I know it says not connected, but this this is the only in Eagle CAD this is the, this is the only LCD display um uh symbol that I have um, without having to recreate it and redo it and rename it and everything. I just left it the way the default one is. But pin 15 and 16, if you remember back here, uh, 15 and 16 was our LED backlight. So that's what's happening right here. And I'm just putting a 5 ohm. You know, if you do the math, the 5 ohm resistor will give you that, that 160 milliamps of current or close to it. Um, that's needed for the LED backlight and then that way at, at 5 volts and so that way that lights that up nice and bright so that's what that is and then like I said everything else um, pretty well connects to port B as you can see there's only kind of one pin that's not used but pretty much all of port B 0 through 7 is used except for uh, 3 um, and that that's how and that's like I said defined in the uh, LCD source file that comes with CCSC that you can just include into your uh, in your build and then that way you have all your functions and everything you don't really have to try to build a whole lot of stuff it's already built for you so that's that's nice to nice to know so that's basically it um, for the hardware very simple very straightforward um, just kind of a lot of, a lot of little connections you gotta make but other than that pretty straightforward and that's pretty much all I have for the hardware um, to recap on our on our deal, you use 10 20k ohm potentiometer. Uh, 20k works just fine. That's what I use. Um, and then your LED backlight. Make sure you pay attention to the current. Um, different LCDs will have different currents. You know they have, they have different. Most of them have the same, but sometimes they'll be different. So make sure and watch out for that current and calculate. You know use Ohm's law and calculate uh, at whatever voltage you're using. You know make sure you get that resistor size for 160 milliamps, and you ought to be good for the hardware. Hardware's done. So I'll be back in part two in the next video for the software. Thank you very much.